Hello fifth graders. Hopefully you just finished watching your lesson eight notes and completed all of those. And now it's time to do some practice. So I would ask that you would get your dry erase materials. Now in class, you should have received um, some grid paper like this and I asked you to put it inside your place value little sleeve, that dry erase sleeve, like a sheet protector. So that would be helpful for what we're gonna do is we're gonna be adding decimals for this. And I think it's a lot easier if you use the grid paper. It just helps you line up those place values. If you would prefer just to use your scrap paper, um, that's fine. If you want to solve these in your spiral, that's fine. My, my suggestion would be to use that skinny dry erase marker and your grid paper for these. All right, so just like usual, I'm gonna give you a problem and then I want you to write that problem down and solve it. So you press pause, you write the problem down, you solve it, then you press play to check your work. Here is your first one, 47 hundredths plus 25 hundredths. Okay, so when you're solving this, and I'm gonna kinda scooch my paper back and forth, when you set this up, and I'm gonna set mine up on the grid paper, and this is example number one, 0 0.47, plus 0 0.25. You should have this set up so that the hundredths match and the tenths match. Seven plus five is 12. Four plus one is five plus two is seven. My decimal point stays where it is at so that I can have the tenths and the hundredths. And bring down your zero. So that's what you should have for number one. Problem number two, 37.56 plus 2.7. And I'm writing these like this because I want you to be able to set them up vertically in case you're wondering why I'm going back and forth. All right, so press pause, solve it. And welcome back for number two. Number two was 37.56, so 37 and 56 hundredths, plus 2.7. So the 2.7 should go right there. There should be nothing underneath your six. And remember that if there's nothing underneath that six, that means there's a zero. Six plus zero is six. Five plus seven is 12. I'm gonna carry my one. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Carry my one. And three plus one is four. The answer is not 4,026. This decimal point needs to stay. That's the third button on the shirt to separate all my place values. All right, your third problem. Number three, 19 plus one and four hundredths. So press pause. Write that down. All right, welcome back. For number three, we have 19, and I'm supposed to add 1.04 to that, right? So when I add 1.04 to that, I have to understand that the decimal point is technically right after the 19. If there's not a digit in the tenths place, you usually don't put a decimal point after the ones place. But here we need it because I have to know where to line up my one and four hundredths. So your problem setup should look like this. And remember that I can always fill in those empty spaces with zeros. So zero plus four is four. Zero plus zero is zero. Keep my decimal point. 19 plus one is 20. Or maybe you just want nine plus one is 10 and carried the one. You got your 20 that way. Either way, 20.04 is what you should have. All right, fourth one, I have 2.5 plus eight thousandths. 2.5 plus eight thousandths. Now maybe some of you can just look at that and know what the answer is. That's fine, just make sure you double check it with me. So write it down and double check it with me. And the rest of us are just gonna line this up on our paper. So for number four, we have 2.5. And then for eight thousandths, I should have it lined up like this. This is what it should look like. That's where your decimal point needs to be. So again, above these, I can put zeros in. 0 plus 8, 0 plus 0, 5 plus 0, keep my decimal point, and 2 plus 0 is 2. All right, we have 8 total, so we're going to do 4 more. All right, so number 5 is what I'm on right now, right here. 332 and 2 tenths plus 91 and 36 hundredths. So press pause so you have the screen, solve this problem on your little dry erase board, and then press play to see the answer. Okay. I'm gonna write my number five right here. Number five, I have 332 and two tenths plus 91 and 36 hundredths. It needs to be set up like this 
your decimal points need to be lined up so that you're adding the ones together, the tens together, the hundreds together, the tenths together, and the hundreds together. I'll put in my zero here. Zero plus six is six. Three plus two is five. I'm gonna bring down my decimal point. It's my third button. Two plus one is three. Nine plus three is 12. Carry my one, and three plus one is four. So you should have 423 and 56 hundredths. All right, we're getting close. Number six, 46 hundredths plus 42. This again is one of those that you could just look at and boom, we know the answer. And if you don't look at this and go boom, I know the answer, there's nothing wrong, it's okay. Once we line this up and I show you, you'll be like, oh, okay, I totally get it. So set this up on your paper or just write your answer on your whiteboard and get ready to check. All right, for number six, we have 46 hundredths, so that's 0 0.46. And to that, I'm adding 42. Now remember, in 42, there's not a decimal point because I don't have any tenths, but it would go after the tenths. So it would look like this. This is how you should have it set up. And I'll put in my zeros, and six plus zero is six, and four plus zero is four. Bring down your decimal point, zero plus two is two, and I have my four. So I want you to look at this problem. Think about this, if you have 46 cents plus $42, wouldn't you have $42, 46 cents? So that's what I mean by sometimes we can just look at this and know. I only have digits to the left of the decimal point here and I have digits to the right of the decimal point here. We can put those together. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. You can always set it up in the traditional algorithm, that's what it's called, an algorithm, and be fine. Okay, for number seven, getting a little bit bigger well, lengthier, not necessarily greater in value. So we have 217 and 91 hundredths plus one and nine thousandths. So set this up on your grid paper and press play when you're ready. Welcome back. All right, number seven, I have 217 and 91 hundredths. And to that, I want to add one and nine thousandths. So this is how you should have it lined up. Again, we're putting our place values together just like we learned to do with whole numbers. So there's nothing here that means zero plus nine is nine, one plus zero is one, nine plus zero is nine. Keep your decimal point there so I can separate my ones from my tenths. Seven plus one is eight, and one plus empty box is one, and two plus empty box is two. So you get an answer of 218 and 919 thousandths. That's how we would say that. All right, it's time for the grand finale, last one here. Number eight, I have 108 and four hundredths plus 46 and 179 thousandths. So set that up on your grid paper and press play when you are ready. Okay, I'm gonna go down here. Number eight, I have 108 here, 0 0.04, so 108 and four hundredths plus 46 and, so I'm gonna write 46, my decimal point, making sure it's lined up, 179 thousandths. When I go to put these together, I see that there's nothing here, so I'll put a zero. That represents nothing. Zero plus nine is nine. Four plus seven is 11. One plus one is two. I keep my decimal point there so that my tenths is in the tenths place, because without the decimal point, this would be 219. And with it, it's 219 thousandths, very different. Eight plus six is 14, carry my one. Four plus one is five, and one plus empty box is one. So 154 and 219 thousandths. All right, thank you for watching. See you in class.